I think Boris Nemtsov's murder in Moscow <clears throat> on the bridge leading into Red Square was an act of political terror. I think it was the objective was twofold: one, to eliminate a, a credible, uh, charismatic opposition politician who was threatening to Putin at a time when the economy was going to go into a nosedive and where he's terrified of what might happen then. And the second thing, it was to send a message to everybody else, which is that that um, that any enemies of Putin are all at risk of being killed. And, and I think that, that the message uh, is very powerfully sent by, by, uh, by killing Boris Nemtsov. Vladimir Putin has a real problem. He's stolen an enormous amount of money from the state over the last 14 years. And that money um, has now not been spent on, on the things that Russian people want it to be spent on. So they're starting, they were starting to grumble. And then he saw a, uh, a junior version of a uh, junior thief, um, the uh, head of Ukraine, Yanukovych, getting overthrown by his people doing the same thing. And so Putin started a war to distract his people. The problem with this war is that um, it has led to sanctions, it's led to um, a devaluation of the ruble, and at the same time oil prices have gone down. And so now Putin is, is in a very bad situation because the economy is bad. Um, Russian people tend to be politically apathetic when the economy is good, but when things get bad they start grumbling and saying, why is the government not taking care of me? And eventually I believe the people will turn on Putin, which is why he needs to keep on ratcheting up this nationalism and keep on doing dangerous things in foreign countries like Ukraine. Putin is not a man who has any capacity to compromise whatsoever. Um, he believes that compromise is equal to defeat. And so the only thing that will happen with Putin is, is escalation, more escalation. And he's hoping that he can, he can um, uh, follow the model of Mugabe in Zimbabwe or, or uh, Kim in Korea and just stay in power uh, under a horrific scenario uh, for his people. Eventually, he'll probably end up um, getting tossed out by his people, but until then, he's going to continue to do all these terrible things. I mean, he truly is a, a, a sociopath. He's, he's not irrational, but his, but his, um, his actions are all based on, um, on preserving his wealth and maintaining his power. And he'll literally use nuclear weapons if that's what it takes to do so.